Today we're going to take a look at the top 10 things that you guys need to know about the new Platinum DLC. Number one, yes, there are actually fields on this map. We have three regular fields and we have two grass fields that can be found on the bottom left hand side of the map. You can see over here we've got field number three way across the river. We also have field two and field one over here. And then here on farmland 41 and 42, we've got grass fields. Number two, logs are actually sold in the water when you are selling at the sawmill at the top of the map. The sawmill is found right here when you click on it. Old sawmill and whatever you've got, bring your logs into the water and uh, I'll just kind of drop them off in here and you're good to go. Would probably help if you detach the logs first though. If you've purchased everything, you can see right here, the logs will start to go up just like that. But I did notice you had to buy it first. So keep an eye out for that. Number three, you can paint trees. Ha 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 ha. Check that out. So all you gotta do is go up. There's a little marker in the middle of your screen. You'll get a little thing that shows you Hey, you can actually do this and you can even change the marker to whatever's on there. Maybe this one needs to be an X and I spray an X on the tree. The only thing is I don't know, can you spray more than one thing on the tree at a time? I guess we can always find out. Yep, you can change it up just like that. We've got all kinds of different colors with this. Yellow, white, pink, red, orange, green, blue. Shipping container is not a color. It doesn't matter what you got there. And you can have as many different colors as you want at a time. If I want to change this blue, there you go. Now it's blue. Number four, currently you can only sell the auto loading log containers on the new Silver Run Forest map. However, if you guys are on a Giants map, you can sell them on the train, but only there. Giants are aware of this and should be fixing it soon, but it is something that you need to know before the release, at least. Number five, the iron mill just kind of keeps going. It is always depositing iron ore at the exact same rate. And sometimes you may run out and you need more and you have to just sit and wait or fast forward an entire day. Currently, this is the only way to get metal if you guys are wanting to do that. Also keep in mind that iron ore is not deposited on any other map, even though you can use the furnace on other maps. Uh, Giants, again, are aware of this and are working on a fix to it, but uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna see one before the release. So that's something you need to know about. Number six, there's uh, free vehicles all around the map. We've got a total of three of them. We're actually right here beside the iron ore. Uh, you've got a BM Volvo right there. You got the dump truck and you've got a wheel loader up here and you can use these to move this around. One thing to note, you cannot tab to these and you can't sell them at the store. If you have a um, like a PC mod, something like that, you can get rid of them, but currently that's the only way to get rid of these. These can be found up here at the top left-hand corner at the mine shaft. However, if we go down here to the sawmill, there is another one here as well. It's the new Manitou. Speaking of vehicles, number seven, the starting equipment has some age on it. So if you guys did not know, we get a couple different things to start with. We got the Volvo BM 2654. This currently, well, it says zero months, but it's at 34% on there. 98.7 hours on it. Our harvester right here, 153.9 hours, and the forwarder's got 99.5 hours on it. So you've got some very used starting equipment. That's pretty cool. Number eight, the boat yard is not in the productions category. It works just like a normal production over here. We can buy this for money. If we go in, the production is a production, it even shows up in the productions menu. However, when we go to buy this, boom, there, $125,000 over here. We have our input. The output, of course, is a boat. But if we go into here, well, it's just the sawmill that we bought at the beginning. There is no way to actually see this in the productions menu. There's also no way to see the roller coaster in the productions menu either. However, this is labeled completely different, so uh, there would be no confusion here anyway. Number nine, 16 people can ride the roller coaster at once. It's, it's true, 16 people can ride here. As you can see, we have four cars and four people can ride in each car. You guys wanna go for a ride? Just hop in. It may not be the most realistic roller coaster ride you've ever been in, but I promise, 
It is a lot of fun. Wait, let's discuss this. No. And lastly, number 10, if you ride the roller coaster 15 times. Yes, you will need to ride the roller coaster 15 times. The adrenaline and excitement of the ride gives you super strength. You get super strength for riding the roller coaster 15 times. You can pick up anything like bells and logs that are around one ton or less. How cool is that? You'll have that uh, ability for the remainder of the time using this, this gameplay, this single save gameplay. And everyone that joins will also have that ability. I mean, we can't leave you without something fun either. Little bonus for you guys. We also have some new clothing that comes with this. If you guys didn't know, we got a couple jumpsuits here from Volvo. As far as tops, which it says none are available in the single suit space. Well, let's change that up. We've also got a Volvo t-shirt. We even have a Volvo, like a coat, like a raincoat kind of thing. And then we've got a couple high-vis jackets. If we go down into pants, we do have Volvo pants. They say Volvo here on the left-hand side. And I believe in hats, we have a hat as well. Yeah, nice little Volvo hat. And there you go. There's 10 things plus a little bonus item that you guys need to know about the Platinum DLC. There are some things that are a little bit different about this and some things that I was confused about when I started playing as well. So hopefully I've cleared those up for you guys so that you can jump in and play and have fun immediately.